Hi friends, so today we are doing my 300th review. Can you believe it? Because I certainly cannot. Um, so today we are doing Lost Capital Economics Course Spicy Mustard. We are big fans of mustard in this house, so I was super excited for this one. Um, so Lost Capital is a company based in Minnesota. So Lost Capital seems like a funny name for a company, right? So I looked up on their website to see why they named their company Lost Capital. And it comes from quitting your job to find your passion and really focusing on the quality of your product rather than those profit margins, which I think is something that a lot of companies can relate to and appreciate. So I thought that was a really unique approach to their name. But also their products are all named something with related to finance, which is also really cool, like economics course for mustard, which is pretty cool. Um, I thought that was a funny take on their company and their product names. Um, so today we are doing the mustard. Um, it is the winner of the 2021 Fiery Food Challenge, which is pretty cool. And to pair with it, I have some Trader Joe's strawberry jalapeno crisps, some chicken liver pate, uh, French bread, hard pretzels, and some sharp cheddar cheese. So let's see what's in this first. All right, we got distilled vinegar, mustard seed, gluten-free Minnesota beer, and shallots, kosher salt, garlic, Minnesota honey, arbol chili, and dried ghost chili. That is really yummy. Um, so the ghost chilies here are fermented. Most of their sauces are fermented sauces. Very few are cooked. Um, most of them are using raw ingredients um, that are fermented. This one, I know the ghost chili is fermented, but it's also cooked. Um, so you don't get that fermented probiotic benefit, but still you get the benefits of the flavor. So let's try it with my Johnny Spoon first. But I like the size of this too. It's good size for you know gifts that you can give to people. I definitely will be ordering some for some gifts. So it's got like a really great thick texture. You can see the mustard seeds. Um, it's got a really great golden yellow color. I'm gonna take a big heaping spoonful. Mm. That is really good. So like when I think of mustard or crave mustard, that is exactly what I want. So it's, you know, you get that mustard seed bite, you get the tangy, and you get that heat from the peppers, but it's a manageable heat. My sister who really can't handle habaneros would never, never ever be able to handle ghost peppers, but she does um, really like this and can handle the heat of this. So it's pretty manageable. So don't be scared of the ghost pepper. Definitely give this one a try. Um, so let's try it with some foods. I'm gonna dunk some pretzels in first. Mm. This is a perfect pretzel mustard. So good. This would be really good like on a bratwurst too. With some onions, peppers. Really good. Such a good mustard. Alright, I'm gonna go in with some pate and some bread. A nice little scoop of mustard on there. Mm -hmm. That's a really good combo too. Oops. That is really good. So Heat wise, I'm gonna give it like a four out of 10 for me. Um, taste wise, I'm giving it a 10 out of 10 because this was really good mustard and I am ordering more as soon as I'm done recording this video. <laughs> so definitely recommend um, this yummy mustard. Yep. That's also a really good combo. 
The honey is a nice touch. I don't really see that too much in like a stone ground mustard. But the honey adds a nice little touch of sweetness. Um, the garlic, I can really taste, and I love garlic, so I love that in a mustard. Um, the peppers add a nice little heat. The arbro chili, um, definitely not pronouncing that right, but it adds a nice little smoky taste. Um, really subtle, but nice enough to like round out the different flavors. I really love the use of the beer. It adds like that hoppy taste without the alcohol, and it's a really nice complementing flavor to a mustard. So I really love the use of that. Um, yeah, mustard seed, I also love. And I love that they use local ingredients. So the Minnesota beer and the Minnesota honey, really awesome. Supporting local businesses is huge and more people should do that. And I love that this company does that. Um, so yeah, heat rating, four out of 10. Taste rating, it is a 10 out of 10. I love mustard. We always have three or four different types of mustard in our fridge. So I was really excited to get this one and I love it. We are definitely ordering more. This is probably one that we'll have in a staple. It is a staple in our fridge. <laughs> um, so definitely get some. They sell out quick um, of this and their honey. I have their honey and I'm gonna review that soon. Um, but they always sell out of the mustard and the honey pretty quickly. Um, so. Use code FUEGO for 20% off. Like I said, they sell out quick, so definitely get some ASAP. Um, and thank you for watching my 300th review. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And don't worry, I have hundreds more to review, so stay tuned and stay spicy. Thanks for watching. Bye.